So this is what we want to do today. We want to focus on the church of Jesus Christ and think in our Bibles from Matthew 16, verse 18, which I'll quote in a moment. We're standing in this churchyard, magnificent church building behind me, uh, but it illustrates the tragedy of where we are now in lockdown, which is why I keep on saying, end the lockdown, save lives, love one another. Part of the reason for ending the lockdown is to get buildings like this open again to people so they can get in to pray and to worship and it can be a focus of centre of the community all over again, an essential service for the people of God. Tragically, all over our country, in villages like this one and large cities, church buildings are closed, sending the signal to the average person who walks past that the church is closed for business. However, we know it's not closed for business because Matthew 16, 18 says to Jesus and in conversation with Peter, disciples, on this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell won't prevail against it. Nothing, no coronavirus, no lockdown is going to stop the, stop the work of the spirit doing its thing, doing his thing among us and fulfilling God's purposes. And so today, as you're aware of closed buildings, as you've zoomed in your services, as you haven't set foot probably in your church building for weeks and weeks and weeks, pray for the church. The church buildings to be open, absolutely, because they're symbols of spiritual life. But even more importantly, praying that that truth in Matthew 16, 18 will be felt and understood uh, by Christians all over the planet and that we'll be praying the purposes of God won't be thwarted. We'll learn new ways of being the church. When this is over, we'll be relationally stronger, more passionate, more prayerful, more committed to seeing that scripture worked out, that no force on earth can stop what Jesus wants to do on planet earth with human flourishing, with the assuaging of pain and difficulty and the healing of disease and the glorious release of of a lovely flourishing message which we are meant to bring even in the tragedy of our closed buildings the church of jesus the body of christ the people the agents of this glorious kingdom which god has in view pray today that while all seems quiet and non-active actually god is still active he is still building his church he is still fulfilling his purposes. Let's pray that as we come out of lockdown, there will be an explosion of his grace and love all over the world.